Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Kyle's Prepper and once again my neighbor came over to act as cameraman. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can update the frequency list in an ICOM ID5100 Alpha D-Star Digital Mobile Radio. In my previous video I demonstrated how you update the firmware in the radio and one of the steps in that process is to back up the frequency list to the SD card so you don't lose that information during the firmware upgrade. I intentionally did not back up the repeater list information to the SD card so I would have an opportunity to demonstrate updating the frequency list in the radio for you. So right now if I hit the DR button I get a message that says no repeater found because there's no list in the radio. So the first thing we're going to do is format the SD card. The SD card sits here in the radio and the cameraman's going to pan down and we're going to come back up here. We have the SD card installed and we're going to come to the menu. We're going to select SD card on page three of three. We're going to format the card yes and the radio will format the card and put the proper file structure on that card for the ICOM ID5100 Alpha radio okay our formatting is complete that took the better part of five or six minutes now we're going to unmount the card unmounts complete I'm going to remove the card from the radio move it to the laptop and it will show up as a drive on my laptop Okay, we had a minor edit. We adjusted the laptop to reduce the glare on the screen. I have the SD card in the side of the computer. We're going to come to Downloads. We're going to select Repeater List Downloads for ID80 and 880 radios and newer. We're going to scroll down a little bit. It's going to ask us for our location. I'll put in a local zip code, 22015. We're going to look up location. And now we select a radio. I have a standard ID5100 Alpha D-Star radio, so I'll find that in the pull-down menu. We have it right there. Now there's some options here that you can adjust. Number of empty slots and percentage of repeaters that are FM versus digital. I'm going to leave it as is on the website. I'm going to hit download. And I'm going to go ahead and save that file directly onto the SD card. So we'll come out here, ID5100 Alpha, the CSV file repeater list and we'll go ahead and save it in there. I'll go ahead and close that out Then I'll come into my file manager here and eject the SD card so I can safely remove it from the computer. It's ejected so I'm going to remove the SD card, close the laptop up and we're going to go ahead and stick that into the radio again. We've got the SD card in the radio. Now the last function we did here on the radio was unmount. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the radio off. And I'll turn it back on. Make sure it sees the card. I'm going to press menu. We're going to select SD card. I'm going to use the arrow key to go up to page one of two. I'm going to import. Hit import again. Repeater list. There's the file we just downloaded and we're going to say yes and we're going to import the file and now it's importing the new repeater list from dstarinfo.com and again I'll put a link down below and it should wrap up here soon okay it tells us to reboot the radio so we'll go ahead and turn it off turn it back on and now when I press the DR button I should get a repeater list and I do. Now once I get a GPS lock up here, I can actually select the nearest repeater based on my GPS position. Okay, now we have a GPS lock. I'll go ahead and hit the from line, near repeater, a digital repeater, and it's going to look at that list we just imported and find the closest repeaters to where I am based on the GPS coordinates that the radio locked on. So there we have Alexandria, Virginia. That's the standard repeater I use. I select that. Now I'm in a standard CQ, CQ, CQ mode, and this will be the topic of future videos, but I can come in here and actually change to a gateway CQ, call sign, access reflector, do direct inputs, and this is where the magic of D-Star really comes alive when you want to talk to other repeaters and other systems and other reflectors. So that's a brief video to demonstrate how to import a new frequency list into your ICOM ID5100 Alpha D-Star radio. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Collins Prepper with another D-Star video. 
And again, thanks to my neighbor for being the cameraman. Thanks for watching, guys.